Hello everyone, this is Deepak. In our last tutorial, we learnt about object-oriented programming concepts and also learnt about classes and objects in Java. In this tutorial, we are going to set up our Eclipse environment and then we will also create sample program to show how to create programs and run them in Eclipse. Eclipse is an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. In our very first tutorial, we discussed in brief how to download, extract and create Eclipse IDE system in our operating system. We are going to re recall that and we are going to set up Eclipse IDE for us. Recall that we can download Eclipse from eclipse.org. From here, you can download the Eclipse installer using your 32 or 64 bit version and finally what you get is the zip file. Once you download that zip file, you can extract it using right click extract all option and then once the Eclipse archive is extracted, you will see something like this. The Eclipse extract folder contains configurations, drop-ins, features, plugins, etc. But one thing to remember here is Eclipse.exe, the executable that starts the Eclipse IDE. Please do not forget to right click this and create shortcut. You can pin it to taskbar and also create shortcuts in your start menu. This is how Eclipse gets installed. It is extremely easy. Now let's see this in action. I click Eclipse and the first window is the workspace launcher where it is asking me the workspace location. I can create any, any workspace but it is better to create in your non-operating system drive. Here I have used D drive slash Java training. Once I click on OK, the Eclipse workbench will get loaded. This is the Eclipse workbench. There are two modes here. One is the Java perspective and second one is the Java Enterprise Edition perspective. Now let's create a simple project here. We can go to File, New, Java Project. We can give the project name as sample project and then we can keep the default JRE selected. If you have multiple versions of Java Runtime Engine then here you can select one of them. You would remember that we had installed only JDK 1.8 that comes with JRE 1.8 therefore we have that as a default selection choice here. Once I click on finish, in my package explorer window, I see a sample project is created. You will also see the reference to JRE system library and a folder source already created. I can right click on this folder and then create something known as a package. What is a package in Java? A package in Java is essentially a hierarchy of folders that is used to create related files together. It is a way to organize your multiple files in large projects. I can name it here com.training.java. Note the naming conventions for project is to use all small letters or and every word separated with a dot sign. Once I click finish, a package gets created and I can keep my first class in it. I can again right click it, go to new and create a class and let's say we create same employee class which we created in our last tutorial. Employee.java gets created. In order to save time, we are going to copy the employee.java contents You will see here we had created two classes employee and employee demo. I will create the first one employee.java 
and I will just copy the content here so employee class is created now let's create another class employeeDemo.java we would we don't have to give .java here we can just give the name of the class now in this employee demo class we will write the code ourselves rather than copying it so I create a main method public static void main string args note that if I make any syntax error the IDE would complain immediately if I forget this closing brace then it immediately points me with a red spiral line now let's create employ joe equal to new when I write new emplo y double I can press control space to see what are the various ways to create this this is known as IntelliSense we can say employ and we can give it name Joe and 30 and similarly we can create another instance Mike which is another employ of 25 years old and now we can say Joe dot note that as soon as I put dot Eclipse ID helps me to show what are the various methods available. I can write joe.greet and then mike.greet. Similarly, I will ask joe.work and mike.work. Once we have done this, we can save all from here the icon on the toolbar or we can also go to edit or sorry file, file and save save all and then we can run the code from here we see the output in our console window which exactly matches with what we had seen in our previous tutorial so in this tutorial we learned how to start Eclipse and create one sample program in it. In our coming tutorials, we are going to do all of our programming in Eclipse IDE. There are other IDEs also like NetBeans, IntelliJ IDEA. They are equally awesome and I would suggest you to try and all of them and choose one of them to do the programming. So guys, stay tuned.